Go on then, Jim. Come on, mate. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Come on then. Good boy. Mate, they're frozen. Jimmy, here. Jim, here. Look, here. Come on. Come on, eat off the plate. That's it. Well done. Good boy. I didn't think he was going to eat that chicken then. And for the sandwich first. Now the chicken. Good boy. Yes, you are. No, he says, I don't think I fancy the sausage. Now there's a car coming, so he's done a runner. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I think he'll be back as soon as the coast is clear. Yep, there he comes. Come on, mate. Good boy. All right, what do you want this time? Want some more chicken? He seems to like the sandwich. Yeah, come on then. Yeah, come on then. Jimmy. Mate, they're frozen, I told you. Now he heard something and the neighbour's light came on, so no, he's just going to take a chicken foot by the looks of it. Off he goes. His little legs, bless him. Wears me out just watching him. Okay, he's gone over to the left again. Okay, so Chip Chip's arrived. Hey, baby girl. Here, Chip. Here, come on. Chip Chip. Come on, my babe. She's just taking a mouthful of that. Minced raw chicken, and off she goes with it. Come on, baby girl, here. She's just there. Come on, then, my babe. It's lovely to see you, even though I know you've been around. Still lovely to see you, yes. But there's some on the plate here for you. I'm surprised she didn't just take that piece of chicken and run, actually. Good girl. It's all for you. How's it going? Yeah? You managing with those babies all right? Still like to know who daddy is, though. Definitely see her little teats, bless her heart. Chip. Chip, chip. Come on, baby girl. Chip. Chip, chip. Come on, good girl. Come and get yourself some food, my darling. Come on. Good girl. Come on then, yeah.
Still as wary as ever, bless her heart. See if she wants some raw chicken. Here, come on then. Come on, my babe. Here. There we go. Come on then. Be careful because there's a car. That's right, the car went the other way, so... So she's just nabbed the one piece of chicken, bless her heart. She'll be back for the others, I know that though. But yeah, she's got her little teeth showing, bless her. Just be interesting to see how many babies she's actually had this year. Like I say, it's usually between three and six. The average is around four. Uh, she had three last year. So is it three again this year too? Four? Six? Well, I hope it's not six because that will really tire her out, love her little heart. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go back in. We'll see who turns up next. Okay, so Cookie's arrived. He's got one piece of chicken. Come here. We'll put the chicken down first. No, you can't. You can't. You can't take that look. Have some of that. Put your chicken down first, mate. And then you can have more chicken. Yeah? No, it says I'll take this piece of chicken then. Cookie. Are you going to put your chicken down? All right, take two. Is that enough? You can't do it that way round, mate. Okay, he's taken two pieces of chicken. We'll see if he comes back. I noticed he had a tick on the top of his head then. So I'll just monitor him for any more. If any more appear, then I'll have to get some stuff into him just to help get rid of them. So yeah, one on the back of his ear, one on the top of his head. I'm not seeing, I didn't see any anywhere else. So if he comes back, I'll, I'll have another good look at him. Okay, so Cookie's come back and he's eaten from the plate that I put outside in case anybody just turned up and I missed them. So, so far tonight we've seen Jimmy, we've seen Chip briefly, and now we're seeing Cookie. Hello mate, how are you? Yeah. Good boy, you don't want that. Try this piece then. You don't want that either. Do you want this then? Yeah, I thought you would. Good boy. How are you? Oh hang on, I thought you... Right, he hasn't got a tick on his head as I thought. Let's put that out there for you then. Yeah, and pick that piece up as well. Don't touch your head. <laughs> no, he's just far too wary. So I'm not going to frighten him. Bless your little heart. Still got the tick behind your ear though, mate, haven't you? Yep. Foxes are very prone to ticks because they're obviously in the long grass does happen if there's the odd one or two it's not a problem they will drop off but if there's more than like four then it is advisable to get treatment for them so he can hear foxes screeching up the road in the distance and so can i who is it mate do we know do you want some chicken then yeah you're gonna eat that last piece of chicken off that first are you Okay. Yeah then. You want this? Trouble is you can't take two out of my hand, can you? No. See this is where my feet hang, hang on, wait. Why do it like that? There we go, one on top of the other for you. Does it make it easier? Well done. Okay. You went for a third one. Goodness sake. You must be taking them back for babies somewhere as well. Well, there we go then. So that was Cookie, that time with three pieces of chicken. Okay. That's it.
We've seen Jimmy, we've seen Chip, we've seen Cookie. We'll just have to wait and see if the others turn up. I don't know that I'm going to put the tray out tonight because Daphne is not eating from that anyway. So I might just resort back to putting it on the ground. I was just trying to save keep having to pressure wash uh, the pavement, but I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Oh, hello. Pip. Pip, Pip. Pip. Okay, so Pip just went running across the road. He's gone the same direction as Cookie. Just checking to see if he's actually disappeared down the back or if he's still out there. No, he has gone round the back. So, if we hear any screeching close by, then we'll know that it's Pip and Cookie. But I say hopefully they'll turn up. Um, I think it's around half past ten or ten thirty. Um, I'm not. I'm not being late to bed tonight, be, only because I'm tired, and I need to get up early-ish tomorrow. And I've got a lot I want to do tomorrow, so I'll see what I can capture from this bottom camera, and then uh, obviously there'll be the overnight footage as well. So I'm going to say good night now, but there will be a bit more footage, like I say, from the camera. I've just got to press a button indoors then to record it. Happy days. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody. I'm back again. It's just gone 11 o'clock and on the bottom camera we've had Ringo and Pip and Mr Limpy turned up. But I've had a quick look through the comments and it would seem that Magoo is a popular, uh, popular name, but... It seems that Howie is just topping it from the comments I've seen so far. So Mr Limpy will now be called Howie. And then we can keep Mr Magoo or Magoo for another fox when another one turns up. Well, a boy fox, I think. Because I don't think it's very good for a girl fox, is it? But anyway, so yeah, Mr Limpy will now be referred to as Howie in memory of my dad. So we have Daphne in memory of my mum, even though that wasn't her name. I don't know if I told you the story of that. Where we used to go in the club, there was a Chinese guy came in and I think one day he said to my mum, what's your name? And she said, Valerie. And he went, ah, oh, Daphne. So he started to call her Daphne and then everybody else called her Daphne because it was the in-joke calling her Daphne, even though her name was Valerie. So, yeah, we've got Daphne in memory of my mum and now we have Howie in memory of my dad. So thank you very much for your comments. And I am going to go to bed now, so I'll see you all tomorrow.